Hey, hey, hey. What up, guys? It is Mac, and I'm back with my third bowl game video. I have MTSU versus Navy. My MTSU Blue Raiders versus Navy. And I hope you guys are having a great uh, holidays wherever you are, whether you stayed at home or you're traveling. I hope you had safe travels if you did. And I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. I will probably see you guys the day after Christmas. That'll be when my next video will be up and that will probably be a BCS game and I will have a big announcement in that video it's something that I got for Christmas that I'm debating whether I want to tell you guys about it or not but I think I'm gonna do it I don't want to put too much pressure on myself it's something that's really really gonna make this channel a whole lot better and make us grow a little bit um, so you guys have been liking the bowls so far there's been a couple good ones there was the uh, Louisiana Lafayette versus Tulane was really good. Colorado State was really good. They had the Statue of Liberty. Uh, put in the comments your favorite bowl game so far. There hasn't been a lot of great ones, and there's going to be the Oregon State game tomorrow. So if that's a fantastic one, you can put that one in there too. Hopefully the Beavers pull that out because I am 0 for 5 in my bowl picks right now. It's not, it's not making me look good. It's not making me look like I know what I'm talking about, although these are some pretty small teams. The, one that's, the ones that matter will be the big time bowl games but yeah let's uh go ahead and dive into the matchup it is mtsu blue raiders versus the navy midshipmen and this is going to be an awesome game i'll just tell you that right now this is going to be fantastic they both average over 30 points and they're both coming in on a win streak um mtsu is coming in scoring over 48 points four out of their last five games and They've won five in a row. Uh, Navy's coming in, and they've won four in a row against, albeit pretty inferior opponents. They played South Alabama and a Division One team, I think Western Carolina. Yeah, pretty sure that's who they played. Anyways, Navy's only loss in their last six games was to Notre Dame, and Notre Dame's pretty good. Notre Dame is the only team that beat Michigan State this year, and I personally think Michigan State should be playing for a national title right now. But, yeah, so their only loss in their last six was that. Um, everything for Navy goes through Keenan Reynolds. He's their quarterback. He's from Antioch, Tennessee, which is actually maybe 20, 25 minutes from where I live. Um, and, yeah, he's he's a freaking beast. He's uh, he's thrown for over 1,000, and he's ran for, I think, 12K. I mean, 12K. Uh, 1,200 right now. And he is a complete monster. That whole team goes through him. Um, if he plays great, then Navy plays great. If he plays mediocre, then Navy's not going to put up their points. But I think he'll play pretty good, and I think it'll be a pretty pretty high-scoring game between these two teams. MTSU, on the other hand, as I said, they've scored 48 in their last four of five games, which is really, really freaking high. In one of them, they scored 58. Uh, it's just it's been crazy. Um, MTSU plays a basketball style offense. They they run the hurry up. They spread the field. They play kind of like Oregon and Baylor and those teams. They just score a whole lot of points. They don't play a whole lot of defense. They've um, they have won two games this year where they scored under 21 points. So they have the ability, or uh, where they've scored under 24 points. My bad. Where they have the ability to slow it down and grind with their running game. They have a very very good running game. So that is also um, a threat that uh, that MTSU brings, is that they can control time of possession. But I don't think that's nearly as likely as Navy uh, controlling the time of possession because they were on the triple option. I think Navy wins this game easily if they control time of possession and don't score too fast because Navy runs the... I just said Navy runs the triple option. They can keep the ball on the ground, keep the clock rolling, and keep the ball out of Logan Kilgore's hands. Logan Kilgore is the quarterback for MTSU, and he's been playing fantastic this year. He's um, he's the orchestrator of that offense. The running game has been really, really surprising for MTSU this year. In the last couple of years, it's been it's been mostly aired out and just bomb it deep. But uh, this year, it's it's been more um, it's it's been more on the ground. Also. Last year, MTSU went eight and four, and should have gone to a bowl game. They did not. Um, the bowl—I forget which bowl it was. I think it was Louisiana, the one that the Lafayette and Tulane played in. Pretty sure that's what it was. But anyways, they picked Western Kentucky over MTSU, and MTSU beat Western Kentucky. 
And um, a coach, Rick Stockstill, has been reminding that team about it all through the bowl season, getting ready for this. And this team is really, really hungry. So I'll give the nod in this one to MTSU, even though Navy is favored by six points. I will say MTSU by a touchdown, and I'll say MTSU by 10 points. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this bowl video. One thing I wanted to ask before the end was the next series. Uh, can you guys vote in the comments on which one you want me to see, uh, of which you want to see? Do you want to see a Road to Glory? Do you want to see a Dynasty? Uh, do you want to see ranked matches? Or do you want to see an Ultimate Team series? I can go through seasons. I've already started doing Ultimate Team stuff. But yeah, please tell me in the comments what you want. That'd be awesome. And I'll see you guys after Christmas.